even if you're an experienced professional who's been on dozens, if not hundreds of job interviews, there's one interview question that might stop you in your tracks. What is your greatest weakness? This question is daunting, but we're here to help. Keep watching to learn the best way to answer this question. This video is sponsored by ZipRecruiter. If you're looking for a job, ZipRecruiter can help. ZipRecruiter makes it easy to apply for jobs with a single click. You can also upload your resume to their resume database so that your resume is searchable for the thousands of recruiters and employers who use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter is also free for job seekers. Click the link in the description below to get started with ZipRecruiter today. Let's first start by understanding why employers ask about weaknesses. Managers don't ask this question because they enjoy watching you squirm or want to encourage you to beat yourself up. No, they ask you about weaknesses in order to assess your self-awareness, honesty, and your ability to change. Specifically, they're hoping to find out whether you are self-aware, are forthright, can improve, and if you understand the job. Now let's dive into exactly how to answer this question. As with all interview questions, the key to answering is to prepare ahead of time. This means choosing a weakness to discuss, providing an example of how you overcame it, and demonstrating continued progress. When selecting the challenge you want to talk about, be honest. Choose something that you have genuinely struggled with in your career. It's fine if it's in the past. In fact, that might be preferable, as long as you can show what you've learned since then. But don't choose shortcomings you don't possess or try to turn a positive into a negative. Be humble, but don't beat yourself up. Everyone can learn and improve. Having an awareness of your relative strengths and weaknesses is in itself a great professional asset, but don't fall into the trap of being too hard on yourself. The goal is to show that you're able to be constructively self-critical, not cruel. Choose a weakness that isn't essential to the job. Unless you've made a complete 180 in terms of skill level and you can show that in your answer, don't choose a weakness that's essential to the role. Wait staff shouldn't say they have trouble multitasking, for example. Make sure the weakness you mention is unrelated to the job. Demonstrate progress. If you're talking about challenges that don't relate to the job, does it matter if you've made progress? Yes, because this question is an opportunity to show that you can identify your shortcomings, figure out how to address them, and then make a positive change. Bonus points if you can quantify your progress in money, time, or other metrics. Here is a sample answer to get you thinking. I'm an extremely introverted person. In one sense, that's a distinct benefit in an engineering role. I'm self-directed, creative, and driven to perform without a lot of prompting from management. However, I have felt that learning better communication skills would help me understand user needs better and exceed expectations in my job. I asked to be included in an interdepartmental meetings and now present regularly. It's helped me to grow more comfortable connecting with colleagues in other departments and working as a team to achieve our goals. If you want to see more examples, click the link in the description below to read the full article. The most important thing to remember about weaknesses is that we all have them. When talking about your weaknesses, pick examples that show that you understand your shortcomings and you can address them. The ability to grow and change is worth more to an employer than one single skill. If you're ready to take your whole self to a new job, find the perfect fit for you on ZipRecruiter. Get started with ZipRecruiter today by clicking the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.